Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. As we look out at the world today, uh, we're seeing the U.S. stock market has been in decline for a while. Uh, part of the reason for this is that the U.S. economy has been in a stinky mess for a longer time. The fact of the matter is that the only answers which would produce a positive return in the United States are to get people employed. The Republicans are never going to agree to any kind of stimulus package. The Democrats have lost control of the House, and as a consequence, they've lost the ability to totally control the financial direction of the United States. So the United States continues to suffer, will continue to suffer, in our opinion, for the next four to five years. Uh, we don't really see any way out of the present morass unless there's some agreement uh, to cap the deficit and uh, control its growth and to move on into actual reduction. The interesting thing is there's been some polling in New Hampshire, which is, as you know, no new taxes, no income tax, hotbed of right-wing fascism. The fact is <laughs> that in New Hampshire, people are saying that if we have to use it to get out of the deficit, they'd rather pay taxes than cut services and cut programs. And that's astonishing to me. So it tells you, once again, of the deep disconnect between what's going on in Washington and what is going on in the real world. Most people, like us, are aware that many, many people are losing their jobs and homes, and nobody seems to give a darn about it. And I keep repeating this point, and I, I pick this phrase up of political theater. Nobody cares that the number of unemployed people is growing, because most people who control policy and all their relatives have made piles of money in the last decade, and particularly in the last two or three years since the fall. Now, why do I say that? I say that because the people who caused the fall, except for one, I think, Goldman trader, there has been no criminal activity, no criminal actions filed by any U.S. attorneys uh, regarding any of the people who caused the fall of the U.S. economy. They're all living large, larger than they were living before the fall. And their friends in the media are living larger as well. So there hasn't been any punishment, nor is there likely to be any punishment, uh, from the people who caused the situation that we're in. Those same people are backing the Republicans and causing this gridlock, which prevents us from dealing with our serious problem. What are we going to do about structural unemployment? What are we going to do about the growth of uh, economic division in this country. Forget about what's going on in Europe and what's going on in England. In this country, we're ceasing to be an actual land of opportunity. We're becoming a land of, if you've got the right connections, you can get ahead. That's called crony capitalism. So before I continue too much in this direction, let me say this. Over the next little while, we're going to see a dramatic increase in the price of gold. We're going to see tremendous increases in rare earths. Please look at our website and please download our white papers on these subjects. If you want specific trading ideas for today or tomorrow, please call me or Al directly on 781-380-8888. This is Arnie Waters in Boston. Aim for the ice blows, not the open water.